Welcome to Planet Subaru, one of the largest Subaru showrooms in the world, and the only one powered entirely by the sun. My name's Jeff Morrill. Today I'll be comparing the all-new Subaru Forester with the new Outback. First, let's start with what they have in common. They both have a 170 horsepower four-cylinder boxer engine, all-wheel drive, and great ground clearance, both at 8.7 inches which will allow you to go through some pretty deep snow without getting high centered and also allow you to travel pretty gravel strewn rutted roads without getting caught up in the middle. Some of the differences include the dimensions. You can see the Forester is taller by a couple inches. The Outback is about eight inches longer and also about an inch wider. That extra length means that they can separate the axles. There's a bigger wheelbase on the Outback that gives it a slightly smoother ride, although we never get complaints about the ride in the Forester and with this new one, it's very similar to the Outback. Other differences include a power rear gate that's now available for the first time in a Subaru. And what's cool about it is that you can close it by just pushing a button right here. And you can also set the height of it with a memory adjustment so that if you have a low garage or some overhang that you need to prevent it from hitting, you can set it so that it will never go higher than that. So that's pretty cool. Let's look at the cargo area in the Forester. Pretty generous. And with those seats folded down, there's plenty of room for suitcases and whatever things you haul. There's a button here which will allow the seat to pop down for you. And there's one on the other side. This is available as an option in the Forester. The seats do fold down in the Outback but not with that little switch. See there's plenty of room there. Let's take a look at the Outback while we're here. So you see quite a bit of room there. To bring the seats down in the Outback. However, you need to do it manually. So, quite a bit of space. While we're looking at the back seat, I'd like to point out the limousine-like space in the Outback. There's a little bit more rear leg room here than in the Forester. Three seats will fit across, child safety seats, in both cars. Although you'll find that the uh, space between here and here in the Outback is greater because it's a longer car. So there you go, you can see the rear seat space. What's nice about the Forester and the Outback is you can see the engineer scalloped the back of the seat here, which gives extra room for anybody that would be sitting back there with big knees. Let's go to the driver's seat in the Forester, and you can see it's very well appointed. The finishes and materials in the Outback traditionally have been a little nicer than the Forester because the Outback cost a couple thousand dollars more, and among the many things you get for that additional money, including a bigger car, just the, the quality of the carpets and the dash finishes, but those have been Proved quite a bit with this all new Forester, and even this dashboard has a nice soft rubber touch to it. You can see it um, moving with my thumb, unlike the harder dash plastics that, that they've had in the past. So, real nice advancement for the, the Forester from where it was before. Let's take you around, we'll show you the driver's seat on the Outback. So, yeah, the wood trim, they're looking for a little more elegant presentation in the Outback. So we'd love to show you all the differences between the two cars if you'd like to come take a visit to the dealership or visit PlanetSubaru.com for a very detailed 
description of the differences on our website. Thanks for watching.